A substantial car industry was created in Australia in the 20th century through the opening of Australian plants by international manufacturers. The first major carmaker was Ford Australia and the first Australian-designed mass-production car was manufactured by Holden in 1948. Australian manufacture of cars rose to a maximum of almost half a million in the 1970s 10th place in the world and still exceeded 400,000 in 2004. Australia was best known for the design and production of large sized passenger vehicles. By 2009 total production had fallen to around 175,000 and the Australian market was dominated by cars imported from Asia and Europe. As of 2015, Australian designed cars were manufactured by General Motors subsidiary Holden, and Ford Australia, while Toyota Australia manufactured local variants of its international models, particularly the Camry. However, the Ford Australia engine and vehicle plants closed in October 2016 and the Holden and Toyota Australia factories closed in late 2017. Both Ford and Holden's design and development facilities remain in operation and are expanding, leaving Australia as one of 13 countries with the capabilities to design and develop mass-market cars from scratch. History Australian constructors were very active at the very beginning of both car and aircraft development and in some areas, ahead of their overseas counterparts. Due to the isolation of Australia, it was more practical for Australia to make their own cars. The first true cars made in Australia were steam cars. The first of these steam cars, the Phaeton, was made in 1896 by Herbert Thompson and Edward Holmes of Armadale, Melbourne. It was exhibited in 1900 using the first pneumatic tyres made in Australia by Dunlop. The five-horsepower single-cylinder steam carriage which is now in the Institute of Applied Sciences, Melbourne, was reliable and durable enough to take Thompson and a friend 493 miles from Bathurst to Melbourne at an average speed of 8.7 metres per hour. In 1901, Harley Tarrant produced the first Tarrant automobile, which was the first petrol-driven car built entirely in Australia in a small workshop in Melbourne. Before that, Tarrant had been using the shop to build engines. Tarrant was joined in this endeavor by bicycle maker, Howard Lewis. The car was powered by a rear-mounted six-horsepower Benz engine. This car was followed by many improved designs, including the first fully enclosed car body made in Australia. Later models included locally produced components including, engines, gearboxes and rear axles. The sole surviving Tarrant is on display at the RACV City Club, on the Chancery level. In 1903, the Australian Motoring Association was formed in New South Wales, South Australia and Victoria to protect the interests of motorists. In 1924, this was followed by the Australian Automobile Association. Tyre manufacture also existed in Australia. However, the last tyre factory closed in April 2010 when Bridgeton ceased production. Historical production by year Source, OICA Large-scale manufacturers Current Topic: Bustec. Bustec has manufactured buses on the Gold Coast, Queensland, since 1998. Topic: Denning Manufacturing. Denning Manufacturing has manufactured buses in Brisbane since 2004. Topic. Iveco Iveco Australia is a subsidiary of CNH Industrial, it currently produces the Iveco Powerstar. It is known for being the only foreign semi-truck maker that isn't producing an American branded conventional semi-truck. Packer Inc 
Kenworth Australia is a subsidiary of Packer Inc. Kenworth Australia mainly manufactures semi trucks specifically for the Australian market, which includes the T4909 SAR, C509, T359, T659, T909, and the K200. Previous Topic: Australian Motor Industries. Founded in 1926, Australian Motor Industries (AMI) began assembly operations in 1952. It produced a wide range of standard, Triumph, Mercedes-Benz cars, as well as variety of Rambler models from American Motors Corporation (AMC) up to 1987. Assembly of Toyota automobiles began in 1963. The Japanese company took a controlling interest in AMI in 1968 and increased its investment until AMI renamed itself as AMI Toyota Limited in 1985. <laughs> British Leyland British Leyland formerly Morris and BMC assembled and manufactured vehicles in Australia from 1950 to 1975. Topic: Chrysler Australia. Chrysler departed the Australian car market in 1981 when it sold the remainder of its shareholding in Chrysler Australia Limited to the Mitsubishi Motor Corporation of Japan. The new owner renamed the company Mitsubishi Motors Australia (MMA), and this company continues to operate today as one of Australia's major importers of road vehicles. However, local production of passenger vehicles was discontinued in March 2008. During the 1970s, Chrysler began working closely with Mitsubishi Motors Corporation after they acquired a 15% interest in the company in 1971, with the result that Chrysler Australia began building Mitsubishi-designed Chrysler-branded vehicles such as the Chrysler Valiant Gallant (1972–1977), Mitsubishi Gallant, and the Chrysler Sigma (1977–1985), Mitsubishi Gallant. The Tunsley Park plant was sold to Mitsubishi Motors Corporation and was run by Mitsubishi Motors Australia after Chrysler pulled out of Australian manufacturing in 1980. Production of the popular Sigma and Colt Ranger vehicles continued under the Mitsubishi name until the late 1980s, when production was switched exclusively to the Magna. <laughs> Ford Australia. Ford Australia is the Australian subsidiary of Ford Motor Company and was founded in Geelong in 1925 as an outpost of Ford Motor Company of Canada, Ltd. At that time, Ford Canada was a separate company from Ford USA. Henry Ford had granted the manufacturing rights to Ford in British Empire later Commonwealth countries excepting the UK to Canadian investors. Ford Australia also has a performance car division, Ford Performance Vehicles, with the cars being marketed under the FPV brand. In May 2013 Ford announced that it will end Australian production in October 2016, but will remain as a competitor in the Australian marketplace with imported vehicles. All factories had closed by 20 October 2016. Holden. Holden is an Australian automaker based in Port Melbourne, Victoria. The company was founded in 1856 as a saddlery business, but later moved into the automotive field, becoming a subsidiary of General Motors in 1931. Holden has taken charge of vehicle operations for GM in Australasia and, on behalf of GM, holds partial ownership of GM Korea in South Korea. Over the years, Holden has offered a broad range of original, locally produced vehicles such as the Holden Commodore, supplemented by imported GM models. In the past, Holden has offered badge-engineered Chevrolet, Isuzu, Nissan, Suzuki, Toyota, and Vauxhall Motors models in sharing arrangements, with Daewoo, Opel, and Isuzu-sourced models sold currently. Holden also has a performance vehicle partner, Holden Special Vehicles, which markets modified Holdens under the HSV brand. In December 2013, Holden announced they would end their local manufacturing operations in Australia the 20th of October 2017. 
After the closure of its production plant in Elizabeth, South Australia, Holden changed its business focus to car designing and importing. Topic: <laughs> Mitsubishi Motors Australia. Mitsubishi Motors Australia MMA is a fully owned subsidiary of parent company Mitsubishi Motors Corporation of Japan. A site in Tunsley, South Australia was the location of MMA's vehicle assembly plant. The plant was closed in March 2008 when lackluster sales of the large Mitsubishi 380 confirmed that domestic vehicle manufacturing was no longer viable. Nissan Australia Nissan first began assembling cars in 1966, when Pressed Metal Corporation began assembly of the Datsun Bluebird 1300. This deal ended after about a year and a half, however, but by 1968 Motor Producers Limited of Melbourne began assembling Datsuns again at their Clayton plant. By 1971 locally assembled cars were to include the 1200 and 1600 saloons, with at least 60% local parts content. A deal lasting until 1976 was signed with motor producers. Nissan Motors themselves then used the Clayton factory to build cars in the wake of the 1973 oil crisis. Models produced in Australia included the Pulsar, Pintera, and Skyline. By the end of the 1980s however, Nissan was facing financial difficulties and eventually closed down its Australian factories in 1992, becoming strictly a vehicle importer afterwards. <inaudible> <inaudible> Renault Australia Renault Australia Pty Ltd was established in the late 1950s to organise the importation and contract assembly of Renault vehicles in Australia. In August 1966 Renault Australia purchased the assembly facilities of Continental and General Distributors at Heidelberg in Victoria. Models including the Renault 10, 12, 16 and 18 were assembled and the company also entered into an agreement to assemble cars for Peugeot. Australian production ended with the closure of the Heidelberg plant in July 1981 with LNC Industries then taking over importation and distribution of Renaults in Australia. As of 2012, Renault vehicles are sold in Australia through Vehicle Distributors Australia, a wholly owned subsidiary of Nissan Australia. <laughs> Roots Australia Roots Australia produced a range of Hillman, Humber, and Singer automobiles in Australia between 1946 and 1965. In December 1965, Roots Australia was merged with Chrysler Australia. <laughs> Toyota Australia Toyota Motor Corporation Australia TMCA, is a subsidiary of Toyota Motor Corporation, which is based in Japan. TMCA first began in 1958. TAR markets Toyota products and manages motorsport, advertising, and business operations for Toyota Motor Corporation in Australia. TAR is also responsible for Lexus vehicles in Australia. On 10 February 2014, Toyota announced it would cease manufacturing vehicles and engines in Australia. The Altona plant was closed on 3 October 2017, marking the end of locally produced Toyota vehicles in Australia. Topic Volkswagen Australia Volkswagen Australia Pty Ltd was formed in 1954 by Volkswagen of Germany and various Australian state Volkswagen distributors. The company acquired a suitable site from Martin and King situated at Clayton having facilities for CKD vehicle assembly in Victoria, that site having been used for local assembly of the Volkswagen Beetle since 1954. By 1960, sheet metal panels were being pressed at Clayton, and by 1967 the engine and most components were being produced there. In 1967, Volkswagen Australia developed a unique model, the Country Buggy, which used components from the Beetle and the Combi. Due to falling sales, the operation reverted to assembly only in 1968. A new company, Motor Producers Limited, was formed and operations were expanded to include Datsun and Volvo models as well as Volkswagens. The factory was sold to Nissan in 1976 and Australian assembly of Volkswagens ended shortly after. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Small scale producers. There are a number of current, previous or future small scale producers of cars in Australia, including topic: <laughs> tuning companies. Current tuning or customization companies in Australia include Holden Special Vehicles (HSV), the official performance vehicle partner of Holden. Techno Autosports. Tickford Racing. Walkinshaw Performance, authorized Holden Special Vehicles and Hummer Tuning Company. Topic: <laughs> Past tuning companies. Dick Johnson Racing. Ford Tickford Experience FTE, former official performance vehicle partner of Ford Australia 1991 to 2002. Ford Performance Vehicles FPV, Ford Australia's in-house tuning company 2002 to 2014. HDT Special Vehicles HDT, former Holden tuning company, manufacturing arm of the Holden dealer team. Wayne Gardner Racing. Topic. See also Automotive industry in Australia portal Automotive industry in New Zealand Deindustrialisation <laughs>